Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Vogue. I just woke up. Hi, it's me, pop icon slash nepotism baby, and I'm here to show you my 1,236 step beauty routine. It's really simple. Even someone as slow as you can follow. <laughs> Kidding. I like to always start with a clean face. Now I naturally have perfect skin because my very wealthy and sexy parents actually designed me in a test tube, removing any sort of genetic weaknesses like being lactose intolerant or enjoying folk music. That won't stop me, however, from showing out expensive skincare products that I am paid to sponsor. <laughs> I have no soul. Speaking of which, I use this moisturizer. It says uh, expensive shit on it. Oh yes, mommy is looking delicious. Sorry, I thought I I was FaceTiming my daddy for a moment. Sugar daddy, not biological one. Though they both are the same age and give me money. Now I move on to my brows. Now I don't naturally have thick brows because as a baby I was cursed by a witch who was scammed by the multi-level marketing scheme that my mom was and still is running. So I just filled them in with this brow pomade that's actually made from the cremated ashes of my grandma. She used to always call me pinche puta, which I think means like beautiful flower in Cuban. I miss you abuela. I usually get lash extensions. All of my hair is locally sourced. I pluck them straight out of my little brother's eyes while he's sleeping. He never feels any pain because my parents sedate him every night. But he is in an institution at the moment, so a little lash primer and mascara will have to do. My dark circles make me look like a raccoon in a Tim Burton film, so they must be eradicated. Sorry, no brownies in this neighborhood. I chopped off my little toe and melted it down, and that's actually what this concealer is made out of. I just wanted the skin tone to match perfectly. Love to give myself a little bit of a sharp wing with the uh, Maybelline. Yeah. And then just a little pop of color in the corner of my eye. This is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow stick in the color Lesbian Depression. Ooh, I feel like Cleopatra. And not just because my parents are siblings. Now on to the contour. My face is already pretty chiseled from a face transplant that I got for my 18th birthday. I have no idea who this bitch actually is, but I think she's from Ethiopia because the package that her face came in had little coffee beans on it. However, since I will be under harsh lighting this evening, my features need a little bit of sharpening up. I am using the Chanel contour kit. It's not out yet, but I know a guy who works there and I threatened to out him to his conservative family if he didn't give me a prototype. I am such an ally. Now for some highlight. This lip liner is actually just a crayon that I stole from the children's center that I volunteer at. It's not that I'm a good person. I just like to occasionally drain the kids of their youth, just like once a month. Ugh, there's nothing yummier than lip gloss. I understand why middle school girls abuse it. Okay, now seal that shit in. This is actually made from Beyonce's sweat. I had to throat chop Michelle at an auction just to get it. And now for the outfit. Voila. The fabric is actually fused to my body. It's very painful. Okay, Vogue, I let you be a voyeur in my fabulous semi-legal life. But now it's time for me to head over to this cocktail party that I am attending as a resident hot girl. It's a gig where I'm contractually obligated to laugh at all of the horrible jokes that tech bros make to ensure that they remain mentally stable and don't tank the US economy. It rarely ever works, but that does mean that it is time for you to go. So, bye. No, seriously, get the fuck out.